starting a few question based on that as well so just a second i want you to note this down Alright, so the first thing that we will be learning about the in today's session is cash flow from investing activity. So first thing that we need to understand is what is investing activity. So activities which are activities which are relating to acquisition or disposal you can say or buying and selling in fact acquisition or disposal of any non-current asset or of the long-term asset All right, long-term asset and other investments which are not included in the cash and cash equivalent. are known as investing activities. See, uh, all those transactions or the items in, in relation to the cash and cash equivalent are usually treated under the operating activity right and for that purpose we we make the cash flow from operating activities investing activity and cash flow from investing activity is the part of cash flow statement but is it is not same as the operating activity investing activities are different in order to find out the cash flow from investing activity we must first understand the meaning of the investing activities so in order to explain that we can say activities which are relating to the acquisition or disposition that is buying and selling of the long-term asset or you can also call it non-current non asset. So what is non-current asset? Non-current asset basically means machinery, building, furnitures. All right. So these are non-current asset. There are other items as well that falls under that category. But buying and selling of the long-term asset is considered as the investing activity. All right. And to make it more clear, let me give you a few examples in relation to that. So let, let's write that down. Cash flow from investing activities are Uh, 
are exhibited as follows. While discussing the investing activity, we basically consider these items like if we have sold the non-current asset, like if we have sold fixed asset, investment, interest, sorry, uh, yeah. So if there is inflow of cash on account of sale of fixed asset, you already know what are fixed asset, right? Speed of any long term investment similarly if we have received interest on our investment interest on investment interest received on investment or apart from this if we have di received dividend on our investment all these items are considered as the investing activity and recorded under the uh, while preparing the cash flow from investing activity and apart from this if there is information regarding the rent that we have received Rent also considered as the investing. Whereas outflow, if you talk about the outflow, any outflow on account of sale of, uh, sorry, purchase of asset, any asset, be it the, the, I mean, machinery, furniture, plant, or any other kind of asset. If there is purchase of fixed asset, that will obviously cause the outflow of cash and that should be recorded as a as an outflow under the cash flow from investing activity purchase of investments all right so <clears throat> These are few examples of items which are with with which cash flow from investing activity deals with. All right, so let's let's now prepare the format of the cash flow from investing activity to give it a quick overview. See, first of all, before making this format, just let me make this clear that the cash flow from investing activity is not that complicated or lengthy if you compare it with the operating activity. It is just a, it has a small format. There are only few items that are recorded in the investing activity. This is comparatively precise, small and easy to understand. All right. So we will be starting with the statement. We can write the heading as a statement showing cash flow from investing activities. Okay, and the first thing that we record under it is if we have sold any fixed asset and we have received an amount on sale of any fixed asset, so any inflow of cash on account of investing activity will be recorded first of all, like sale of sale of building, for example. Or uh, like sale of uh, 
sale of plant and machinery sale of the long term investment these are few examples of the items that usually comes under the investing uh, investing activities okay apart from this if we yeah if we have received any interest on investment that will also be added interest received on investment all right then dividend received on investment will also be recorded here okay apart from this we need to subtract certain items which is causing outflow of cash by way of investing activity like the purchase of if we have purchased any building or purchase of any fixed asset if we purchased the uh, plant and machinery or right, if we if we purchased uh, like investment so these items will be recorded as a negative item showing the outflow of cash once this is done what we'll do we'll just subtract all these item from the we'll will subtract the cash outflow from cash inflows and the and ultimately the answer that we'll be getting if we are getting the answer in term, in positive value if we are getting the positive answer then it, it will be known as the cash flow from investing activities all right and if if to if if this is if the answer we got is, is a negative then in that case it will be cash used for investing activity or in investing activities understood prena is this clear to you yes sir all right now i'm sure you must have pre uh, prepared the form you written this down yes sir all right then. so that means we can now start with the question uh, so until now i just explained the meaning of the investing activity i explained the various item which are with which investing activities deals with and this is how we prepare the cash flow from investing activity now see whenever you prepare the investing uh, whenever you want to determine the cash flow from investing activity in most of the question you will have to prepare the account as well like if we have sold the machinery or bought machine the investment so in relation to the asset in most of the question you will be required to prepare the account all right you will you will get to know why why there is a need to prepare the account when we'll do the question but let me just tell you if you need to prepare the account how do we prepare it let me give you an idea about that as well i'm sure you already know how to prepare the account but anyways so let's suppose uh, as you already know that we have two two sides of the account na particulars this is amount then particular all right so this is how we prepare the account usually and like if we need to prepare the account let's suppose in respect of building or plant and machinery plant and machinery so how do we prepare it we start with the opening balance that will most of the time will be there in the question so the opening value in respect of any any asset will be recorded on the debit side of the account as two balance bd i'm sure you already know that 
but still i want you to note this down and if there is any closing balance that should be recorded on the credit side as a by balance cd okay then like uh, if if uh, if there is uh, if, if we have sold any machinery during the year so that amount the amount which at at, at which price uh, the, the value at which we are selling a particular plant or machinery that need to be shown on the credit side of the account by bank this is how we will be indicating indicating is uh, indicating that sorry by bank account so bank on the credit side indicate that we have sold some plant and machine so bank on the credit side indicate sale of asset and when we sell the asset there could be two, two situation which may arise either we will be selling the asset on cash sorry uh, either on the loss or on profit all right if we are selling the asset on a profit at a profit i'm sorry if we are selling the asset at a profit then such profit need to be recorded on the debit side by the name of to profit and loss account so the gain that we have earned on sale of machine should be recorded on the credit side for example for example whatever the machine that we have at the beginning of the year out of that machine we have sold a machine having a book value of 30000 but we have this, we have sold it at a price of 50000 so the selling price need to be recorded on the credit side as by bank account and the profit that we have managed to earn on on this uh, trade which is 20000 will be recorded on the debit side of the machinery account as to profit and loss account indicating the gain what this is clear prena yes sir okay apart from this uh, sometime in the question information regarding the depreciation is also given so if there is any if there is any depreciation that is charged on the asset that depreciation need to be shown on the credit side by depreciation account all right okay so this is how we prepare the particular account now at the time of finalizing and closing this account there is a possibility that both the sides are not tallying both the sides are not equal like if we have total the uh, total the credits acha one more thing like when we sold the machine having a book value of 30000 this we managed to sell the machine at 50000 that means we have generated a profit of 20000 but there could be a, a opposite situation may also arise right wherein we have sold the machine having a book value of 30000 but we uh, we just uh, sold that machine at a price of for example 25000 so in that case uh, we will be suffering with a loss and that loss will be recorded on the credit side same by the name of profit and loss account loss do you understand that so can you repeat this yeah i'm saying that like if the book value of machine is 30000 and if we have managed to sell that machine at a price of 50000 selling price is 30000 then we have generated a profit of 20000 now the treat in order to treat this what we'll do we will be recording this 20000 on the debit side of the plant and machinery account and the price at which this has been sold this will be recorded in the on the credit side right that that we already discussed now let's suppose a different situation with a different situation like uh, we have sold the book value of plant and machinery is 30000 but we sold this machine at a price of like uh, 22000 only so tell me whether there is a loss that we have generated or oh, sorry we have incurred a loss or a profit loss loss of 8000 right now you have yeah. to tell me how this loss will be treated 
loss need to be shown on the credit side by the name of profit and loss account and the sale in price will be indicated as usual on the credit side by bank account that is what i was telling you got it yeah i got all right now moving to the next part if question provides you with the information relating to depreciation as well regarding the asset then such depreciation need to be shown on the credit side see prerna you already know how to prepare the account i'm just explain it again as explain it uh, the format of the account again because in most of the question we will be required to prepare the account only then you will be able to correctly uh, find out the cash flow from investing activity so it is a kind of quick recap uh, regarding how do we actually prepare the different types of account it is not something which is new to you it is already uh, you must be already aware about the formation of the formation of the account i'm not telling you anything for the first time all right so this is depreciation on the credit side now after recording these item what do we usually do we just total both the side and in most of the cases both the sides of the account tally both the sides of the account matches with the equal value but if there is any difference like for example if we have total the credit side and if we found out that there is a difference the debit side have got the different value like for example the some total of the credit side is 5 lakhs and on the credit side the sum total is only 4 lakh 50000 or 4 lakh or 3 lakh 50000 or any other value less than the 5 lakh so the difference arising on the debit side indicate that we have purchased whatever the balancing figure that is arising on the debit side in, will be will be showing you the purchase of asset so that the balance should be recorded as to bank account so like if the total of this these two items are 3.5 lakh so that means there is a difference of 1.5 lakh so 1.5 lakh will be considered as the purchase purchase got it purchase of the plant and machinery and vice versa if the credit side is less than the debit side like on the debit side if we have got the 5 lakh and on the other side we just got 3.5 lakh on the credit side so the difference arising on the credit side usually indicate the sale of the asset all right so what i'm trying to explain here is that in some question or in most of the question in fact the purchase of machine is missing or in some cases sale of machine sale of the asset is also missing unless and until you have the idea about the prices at which a particular asset has been sold or uh, what is the amount of purchase of asset until you have the idea about the sale and purchase value you won't be able to prepare the you won't be able to find out the cash flow from investing activity so in order to find out the cash flow from investing activity you must have to determine the amount of purchase of asset or the sale of asset got it and therefore you will for for uh, for finding out the purchase value and the sale value in some cases you will have to prepare the account as well do you understand that yes sir okay so have you made the made the format of this account do it quickly so that we can we can start with the question done friend or you are still doing it done 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 okay Okay, so now let's start with a question, and I'll have to find out which question I should start with. Just a second. These are all operating activity related question.
All right. So yeah, I have I've got a question. Question number twenty one. I'm sure you are able to see this. Question number twenty one. Yes. All right. So it says from the following particular calculate cash flow from investing activity. Uh, we have been provided with few information relating to land and building machinery investment patent. So value of land and building purchase has been given five lakh. Sale is missing. Sale is not there in the in the question. So we'll, we can simply presume that there is no sales. Machine purchase and sales both are given. Investment purchase and sales are given. Patent in respect of patent sales value is given. Further, it says in the question that dividend received on share held as an investment is ten thousand. Interest received on debenture held as an investment rupees eight thousand. And dividend paid on equity share capital is fifty thousand. All right. So you have to considering these information, you have to prepare the cash, find out the cash flow from investing activity. So let me uh, solve this question for you, and I'll be giving you the next question to try. Uh, through this, you will get some idea how do we actually prepare the investing account, invest or uh, cash flow from investing activity. All right. Is that is that clear to you? Yes. Uh, though the question is easy, which I think you can on your own try this, but still because this is the first question, I want you, I I I want that I should solve this for you, and uh, in fact I'll be solving you solving for you the next question as well, and then I will give you one question to try on your own. Just a second. Can I just do one thing? Can you take a screenshot of this question so that I don't have to continuously switch between the question and the solution? You can refer refer to the question through the screenshot. Then, sir. Yeah. So let's quickly make the cash flow from investing activity for this question. Solution to question number twenty. This particular question does not require us to prepare any kind of account. This is an this is a very easy question. We will be able to find out the cash flow from investing activity without even prepare without even preparing. any kind of account cash flow from cash flow from investing activity so first of all we'll write those item which need to be added and then those item which need to be subtracted And eventually, the total of that, which will be showing cash flow from investing activity or cash outflow, cash used in investing activity. All right, so. uh looking into the question i can see uh there is a information regarding the land and building it says land and building purchased having a value of 5 lakh so because we had purchased land and building that indicate that there is out there must be some there must be outflow of cash right purchase of Purchase of land and building, five lakh. This need to be subtracted. Why? Because purchase of land and building will cause outflow of cash. And in respect of machinery as well, question says machinery has been sold. Machinery has been purchased as well. 
purchase of machine. You are able to see in the question, purchase of machine is of how much? Three lakh forty thousand. Three lakh forty thousand, right? Okay, then we have the next information regarding the investment purchase of investment. Is also given as one lakh fifty thousand. Then patents purchase of patents sixty thousand. Okay, then purchase no investment is four lakh ten thousand. Purchase of investment is the company sale. Four lakh ten thousand. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I'm looking at the wrong side of the information. So purchase is of four four lakh ten thousand. Yeah, sorry. So in that case, I think there is no sales in this uh, purchase in respect of the patents, right? So we don't have to write this. है ना प्रेरणा is that right yes sir okay and in relation to the machinery it says we have for sold machinery so sale of machinery as well having a value of 450000 then Investment has been sold as well. Which is also one lakh fifty thousand. All right, then patent has been sold. Okay. Then in the additional information it says dividend received ten thousand. So dividend is an income, and this will cause the inflow in respect of investing activity. Dividends ten thousand. Then interest has been received. Interest received on the investment, which is eight thousand. Okay. Apart from this, there is one more information which says dividend paid on equity share capital fifty thousand. Now you have to tell me whether I should record this item here or not. Dividend paid in respect of equity share capital. Do you think equity share capital is a non-current asset? Tell me, equity share capital is a non-current asset, or just tell me, equity share capital is an asset or not? no sir no yes uh, it is not uh, basically investing activity it is related to finance so that should be recorded when we will be talking about the financing activity so dividend paid on equity share is not part of investing activity therefore there should be no treatment regarding that so now we need to total this 450 150 will be Uh, this is six lakh six sixty six seventy six lakh seventy eight thousand, right? And out of this, we need to subtract uh, five five three and four lakh ten thousand. So I think we will be getting the answer in negative. Yeah, I'm getting the answer in negative, which is five lakh seventy two thousand negative. Understood. And yes, we'll be writing this as cash used. Cash used in investing. Done. Yes. 
Okay. All right. Now, let's move to the next question. Yeah, question number twenty-two. You were able to see this question number twenty-two. Yes, sir. Okay, so I want you to take this screenshot quickly. And let's solve this question as well. Question number twenty-two says, "Done, Prerna." I'm not able to hear you properly. I think there's some network issue from your side. Tell me if you are done with the screenshot. Shall we? Yes, I'm done. Let me also solve this question for you. Again, the cash. This is the statement showing cash flow from investing activity. So it says in the question. I'm sure that you must have taken the screenshot. So you can read there. It says Accelerated has planned and machinery whose written down value on first of April 2014 was 15 lakh 40 thousand. So the opening balance of the planned and machinery is given. Apart from this, closing balance is 19 lakh 10 thousand for the same machinery. Depreciation and uh, for the year is 1 lakh 50 thousand. So depreciation is also given in the question. In the beginning of the year, part of plant has been sold. So, out of fifteen lakh forty thousand, plant having a value of two lakh twenty thousand has been sold, uh, which had a written down value of three lakh. So, uh, plant having a written down value of three lakh has been sold at a price of two lakh twenty thousand. So that means we have sold the machinery at a loss, right? Is that right? Yes. First of all, the, the price at which the machinery has been sold is already given in the question. So we are clear about one thing that there is inflow of cash of one two lakh twenty thousand. The price at which the machine has been uh, machine has been sold. So that we can write down sale of machine. Can we do that sale of Machine sale of plant and machine. Right, sale of plant and machinery two lakh twenty thousand. But the the amount of purchase of plant and machine machinery is not given. And since the since purchases are not given in relation to the plant and machinery, we cannot simply presume. That there is no purchase, whether there is any purchase or not, we for that purpose we'll have to make the plant and machinery account to ensure whether there is any amount that we have spent on the purchase of plant and machinery or not. So for that purpose, I'm making the account plant and machinery account. And as I told you. Whenever we prepare the account on the debit side, we'll be writing the opening balance to balance BT. This was given as the question as fifteen lakh forty thousand, right? Fifteen lakh forty thousand. Yes, no. And on the Credit side, the closing balance should be written by balance CD, which is also there nineteen lakh ten thousand.
ओके एंड क्वेश्चन सी इज दैट देर इज अ डेप्रिसिएशन लेट्स राइट दैट बाय डेप्रिसिएशन देर इज अ डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ व्हाट अमाउंट देर इज अ डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ 1 लाख 50000 यस एंड देन सेज दैट वी हैव सोल्ड अ मशीनरी सो बाय बैंक अकाउंट सेल ऑफ मशीन एट अ प्राइस ऑफ 2 लाख 20000 and since the value of machine which is being sold had the written down value as uh, 3 lakh so that means we had support with the loss so by profit and loss account 80000 need to be credited to plant and machinery account got it and that's that is it there is nothing else that we need to write down so now we can simply total it and you can clearly see the credit side is much higher than the debit side totaling the credit side we will be getting uh, this is 19 10 and 150 220 80 000 so this will be 23 lakh 60 000 out of this will subtract 15 lakh 40 000 so you will see that there is a difference arising and on account of that difference the balancing figure we will determine the balancing figure will be 8 lakh 20000 this balancing figure indicate the amount of purchase of plant and machinery during the year that is what we had we wanted in order to prepare the cash flow from investing activity all right so now when we will tell you now you, you both the sides of the account should tell you. Twenty-three lakh sixty thousand. <coughs> Understood. So from this account, we will be taking two values. This one lakh, sorry, not one lakh fifty thousand. Two lakh twenty thousand that we have already written in the in a uh, statement of cash flow from investing activity. One value that we need to take from this account is eight lakh twenty thousand, indicating the sale, indicating the purchase. Sorry. So purchase of and this time again we will be getting the answer in the negative terms, negative value, six lakhs in negative. Done. Understood. Is this clear, please? Yes, sir. All right. Good. So this was question number twenty twenty two. Let's move to the next question now. Yeah, and uh, I want you to try this question on your own. Take the screenshot quickly, question number twenty-three, and try solving it. I'm waiting for you to finish, and if you are finding anything difficult, just let me know. All right, Prina, is that clear to you? Do you understand that, Prina? Am I audible? Am I clear? Yes. Okay, start doing it first. Before before attempting the question, I want you to take the screenshot. Done. Done. Okay.
Zainab, you, you, are, uh, you are also trying this question, no?
डन पेड़ना सॉरी कुरेंट है यू कुरी यू प्लीज चल मी डूइंग ओके डू इट Sir, ten lakh sixty eight thousand. Yeah, sorry. Uh, could you please repeat your answer? Ten lakh sixty eight thousand. Ten lakh sixty eight thousand is not the right answer. See, this is the answer. Prerna, kindly match your solution. See where did you made the mistake. The first thing is the purchase of land, ten lakh. So, sorry. Sorry. I haven't calculated interest on long term investment. You haven't calculated interest on long term investment. Okay, you have to prepare the account for that. Acha. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. So yeah, ten percent long term investment is there, na? So for that, you have to. Calculate the interest on uh, investment as well, which will be forty thousand. You 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 got the mistake. Yeah. Okay. So let's let us discuss one more question. Let me see which question we should try. <clears throat> Just a minute. Let me read this. Okay, we should calculate cash flow from investing non-current investment fixed asset. Half of the non-current asset depreciation fixed asset one lakh sixty thousand interest received non-current. Okay, 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 all right. Yeah, I think you would be able to do question number twenty-four. 
just take the screenshot of question question 24 i'm giving this as a homework to you i don't want you to try this now this is an easy question you will be able to solve this done with the done with the screenshot <clears throat> done na try na yes sir done and please write the answer it will be negative 525000 for this question 525000 will be the answer in negative done okay now <clears throat> we have the next question where in the balance in plant and machine uh, account and the accumulated depreciation is given all right on right on right okay please uh, please try question number 26 now and take this screenshot of question number 25 you need to solve this in the homework just take the screenshot question number 25 <clears throat> okay and do question number 26 now see in this question you will be required to prepare basically the plant and machinery account you will have to prepare patent account you will need to prepare and uh, goodwill account as well you will have to prepare in this question let me just check just a second depreciation machine patent okay so uh, okay all right so at least i think you will have to prepare two accounts plant and machinery account and patent account accumulated depreciation account even without preparing the accumulated depreciation and goodwill i think you will be able to solve the question yeah you will be you should be able to do that but let's just uh, let's just solve it and then we will be able to determine whether we are supposed to prepare the patent or oh, sorry the goodwill account or the accumulated depreciation account or not yeah prena so please please try this question and before doing before starting that please take the screenshot of this question as well let me know once you are done then okay start doing it <clears throat> 